Hi guys, welcome along. Right then, today we've got a brew dog, Clockwork Tangerine. It is a 4.5 Citrus Session IPA. Now, I've not tried this yet. Um, I've seen a lot about it over the internet, uh, on different forums, Instagram, that sort of thing. So I'm really excited to um, crack into a bottle of this and see what it's all about. A lot of mixed reviews, a lot of people said it's Pointless, a lot of people say it's lovely, but again, that's with all of the, uh, that's with all beer, isn't it? Right then, so I've got the 660 mil bomber, is it 660? Yeah, 660 mil bomber, so two of the normal cans in one. So we've got a beautiful golden colour, amber, very very carbonated, but a two finger white head, I'm actually really shocked as to how carbonated that is, I don't know if you can quite see it on the camera, right then, let's go in the nose, okay, so straight away you just hit with this tangerine orange. It smells like Barocca. If you've never had Barocca, it's like um, an orange vitamin tablet that dissolves in water. It smells like undiluted orange squash along with a Barocca. Christ, I've sold that to you straight away, haven't I? <laughs> I've sold it to myself, honestly. Right then, let's go with the taste. It is really nice. It's just not what I was expecting. It's oh no, I've got the microphone. It's, it is really nice, okay? There's a lot of orange to it, which I absolutely love. I mean, two of my favorite flavors is, well, one of my favorite flavors is orange. Um, I can see it smells really orangey on the nose and then, have you ever, bit into an orange uh, you know when you go to peel the rind so bite into it just to get your thumb into it to un un you know peel it it's got that really nice dry sharp bitterness to it it's like real orange peel orange rind orange zest it, it's there But it's really, really carbonated as well. I mean, that's way too carbonated for me. In fact, I can't stop. It's nice, it really is nice. It's just not what I expected. I expected, you know, a little bit more of a malt backbone. It tastes, you know, it tastes like an orange squash with fresh orange zest in. There's no There's no maltiness to it. It's really dry, it's really bitter. And that's that's perfect for me. I love that. It's just so weird. 
It's nice, but it's weird. <clears throat> would I buy it again? Yeah, I would, because it is like. What percentage? 4.5%. So, you know, that's probably a session beer for Brewdog. Um, for Carlin and Stella, it's not so much of a session beer, but. It is really nice, and to be fair, I can imagine it on tap on a hot summer's day, sat in the beer garden, drinking a couple of pints of this. It's lovely, it really is nice. I don't know what I was expecting when I say it's not what I was expecting. It's just really thrown me off the mark. I mean, a lot of beers, you, you read the reviews, you read people's opinions, and you get this sort of thereabouts idea in your head of exactly what it is you're going to taste, and nine times out of ten, you're right. This is the one time out of ten where it's absolutely gobsmacked me, and it's, not, it's just not what I expected. It is nice. It's bitter. It's dry. It doesn't taste like a beer, you know, it's an IPA. I, IPA to me is supposed to be hopped, but it's not, there's no hops to it, there's no malty backbone, you know, you can't pick any of the malt flavours up. But having said that, it's really nice, it's really refreshing. So, guys... I can't tip it upside down because obviously it's still still quite a bit in there. Guys, if you see this about, give it a whirl. I do recommend it. It does come beer journal recommended, I swear. It's just honestly throwing me. I do really like it. Give it a whirl. Please let me know. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I've given up on Twitter now because it just does my head in. You've got so many people trying to badmouth other people and just, it's too much hassle. You know, Instagram, you post a picture, you give a little comment about it, you get a few likes, you get a few comments, happy days. Uh, but yeah, find me on Instagram, The Beer Journal, find me on Facebook. I've got a Facebook group uh, with over 200 members, it's called The Beer Journal. Go give it a request, come say hi. And guys, if you see this one, let me know what you think. Cheers.